Hello, good afternoon and welcome to one of my walking films. Today I am back on the Wirral at a place called West Kirby and we're going for what's in the middle of the shot over there, a place called Hilbert Island. So as I say, it's accessible twice a day for six hours, uh, basically three hours after high tide and three hours before. Um, we're going to walk out across the sands, across what we call the D estuary. So let me show you around. Now you can sort of park down South Parade here, but basically um, there are some side streets as well and some uh, car parks you can actually pay at, but it does get very busy. I mean, this is just a Friday and look at it. Now this is West Kirby Marine Lake. So basically you can just look in the background there. You'll see there's like a huge pontoon and that goes right the way around. So I think it's probably about a couple of K. So as I say, you can walk around it all year and it really gets you out into the bay. Okay, just opposite Morrison's uh, is just frankly uh, a set of loos. They're always really clean and uh, I do suggest you use these before you go out onto the bay. Right, here you are, as I say, just outside uh, where we are at Morrison's. And just next to this uh, little entertainment centre, uh, there is actually a sign which will list basically the route out, the safe route. It will also list as well as I say safe crossings and also the tide times so while we're paying attention as i say we've just got about three hours and 15 of safe tide so uh, let's go by the way so if you've got kids this beach is incredible so even if you just come here for the beach it's brilliant but anyway uh first stop is going to be little eye which is straight ahead Just to do you a quick pan if you can hear me, as I say, there's Thurstiston over there, then we're just going out along the headland, West Kirby, and then on the corner over there is Hoy Lake, and basically that looks onto Liverpool Bay. Just be wary that your shoes will get dirty, whatever you wear. <laughs> right, so this is just Little Eye, as I say, it is very small, I wouldn't fancy staying here at a high tide. Um, but basically from here, we're just going to move straight on towards Middle Eye. Now you'll come across this sort of a set of rock pools. I really want to advise going to the left of them because as I say, the D, well the, the estuary mud is uh, very deep and um, Personally, I just wouldn't do it myself. You've also got to watch uh, walking on these things because they are absolutely treacherous. Beautiful for uh, having a look for wildlife and things, but do be very careful. And to be honest, I've been told off more than once by the Coast Guard for walking on them. So uh, just use discretion. It was 20 minutes and about one kilometer to Little Eye. So as I say, just to give you an idea, and that's what a lot of people do. And it's certainly worth it on its own. Right, so just after about 40 minutes or so, just over 2k, we've now come to Middle Eye. So just over there is Hoy Lake. Everyone loves this. Beautiful view. Once you get here, there's some small steps and you can actually go up on top of the island and follow a well marked out path. Suddenly went quiet. Very rare birds up here as well. It is an area of special scientific interest. Okay, a first look round and there is Hillsborough Island for the first time proper. Um, they reckon there's no permanent residents here, but there's been traces of uh, uh, people occupying this area uh, since the Stone Age. Uh, but they think the name Hillsborough came from St Hillsborough and there was uh, a very old chapel that was actually uh, put here. In more recent times it used to be part of a communication system that used to literally involve lights. 
and um, it was integral to the running of the Irish ferries. So Liverpool is just basically behind where you can see the white building in the middle. It's just literally as a crow flies, probably another five miles or so. And basically the Irish ferries companies used to use this as a communication post, uh, kind of like a big lighthouse really. And supposedly from Hollyhead, they could get a message down in something like less than 30 seconds. But anyway, let's go and have a look at the island. The light's beautiful, by the way. Absolutely stunning. You know I'm always banging on about the light. Well, that's why I came. Now, right in the middle of shot. You won't believe this, there is an Atlantic grey seal population which basically lives in the middle of the D. I'm going to claim it for Cheshire. Um, but as I say, first time I came here I could hear them calling and I, well, I thought that's seals. It was seals. Unbelievable to find them here. We might see some at the other end of the island too. And here we go, just entering onto the island, going to the left. The sand here again is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> right, so we're just going on to the island proper. So this is three kilometers and just over an hour. So uh, let's go. So as I say, there are a few properties just here. As I say, I'm not gonna to film too close. I so will show some respect. But generally, as I say, it's not fully occupied all the time. Little ladder, you can just go up here on top of the communication building. It's that steep, I can't film at the same time. Just looking back at the route there. Amazing. So this is the old communication hut, as I say, used to function for many decades out here. As I say, there used to be a place just straight ahead there. Uh, I think there's a lighthouse on that now. And just looking around, say Liverpool Port is just straight ahead. And it actually used to go to the Liver building, so that's incredible. Right, just heading down now to the old uh, lifeboat station, which is right at the uh, end of the island. So uh, it's often from here where you can actually see the seals. So uh, let's go and have a look. This place is a haven for vertigo, by the way. So just please, if you've got youngsters or adults, as I've said before, be careful, because there's some sort of 70, 80 feet drops here. Um, for such a low lying place, I get massive attacks of vertigo all the time here, I tell you. Hello, now I know I met Yolo uh, doing the Abbey Glasslin. Well, today I met Ellie Harrison doing a country file on Hilbert Island. So, just to say, absolutely love what you do and it really gets people out. I'm trying to do that basically in a much smaller way, That's just with good. my friends and my colleagues. But as I say, it's a gorgeous island and I can't believe I bumped into you. So. It's the same message, isn't it? It's about trying to get people to, um, to enjoy their landscape and yeah. enjoy their local spot and to yeah. try and enjoy the rest of the countryside as far afield as they can. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, we've so, had a good day. Thank you very much, for, uh, to Ellie, for saying hello sure, to me. Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Right, so just excuse the breeze, but we're just coming to. So, just coming down to here and. Whoa, right at the end of the walk. So, as I say, 4K, realistically about an hour, hour and 20 to get here and then as I say you just step out onto a beautiful view such as this
Well, thank you very much for coming with me to Hilbert Island. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have uh, making this film. Beautiful place, absolutely stunning. And as I say, for me personally, the actual, the fact that this adventure that you can have in Cheshire, I know we've not seen any seals close up today, but they're there. But we're just looking right out now over Snowdonia and over to Wales. You just won't believe it's here. As I say, as long as you pay attention to the very simple instructions about how you get here and the time it takes, come along. It is absolutely fab. So thank you very much and hope to see you soon. home we go so as I say I'm going back exactly the same way and uh, oh, what a day what a day what a place and uh, sorry for interrupting the uh, Countryfell team there but uh, thank you <laughs> from me to them for uh, letting me be a, a little part of it so uh, thanks again for coming this has been a great day